Good afternoon, let's see. We're just gonna explore. I'm gonna show you some places I've been wanting to try. Now, we're gonna start off in uh, Bintan today. We're in a little jaw here. I forgot the name of it, but you can see. You got stuff, all the stuff you can buy, like your typical jaw. But check this out. Like a bunryo, bunryo tom. But the fact that it's, we get meat types of bunryo, right? You have like bunryo ku, bunryo, oh, bunryo, like with the tofu. This one's gonna be with tom, right? So you're gonna have the prawn. But what's interesting about here, yeah, you're probably looking at this and you're like, yeah, heo kun. Exactly, exactly as it's described. The pig skin wrapped. It's so fascinating. I can't wait to show you all this spot. Uh, this place has been featured on a lot, a lot of Vietnamese blogs. Uh, you can see right here they've been written about. Uh, they got all types of articles and everything written up about how like unique this dish is. So the fact we're going to get in here and we're going to try it and experience it, we're, just, we're so lucky. Oh man, just the fact that we're still finding new things just in Saigon alone, after so many years, I get to bring y'all with me. This is the best. All right, so we're back here in the kitchen. We're gonna get to see how they actually make this rolled pork skin. So we've already washed them, kind of when they first get the skin, they bring it in and how they clean it up, removing the fat, kind of like rectangling it off, making sure it's actually symmetrical and then washing it. And now we're at this stage. <laughs> and so then all he's gonna do is actually take it, put a little bit of secret sauce on it, and then roll it up and tie it off and go into the cooking process. Uh, here, so she'll actually give these noodles a little blanch right here. And then chat tiêu đúng không? Phát chợt And then she got her uh, chà tôm here. So these are like what she's making right here. We got to see her make them just a little bit before. Oh, it's beautiful. You can smell how fragrant that bunryo is. I think you talk to any Vietnamese person, and one of the most, their, their favorite, but something they may not say all the time is bunryo, because usually it's like your mom makes it best. And they la heo kun. So that's actually what's special here. Uh, tango day. And I'm wondering if you can eat it. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, there's a mong tom. Yeah, there's a mong tom. Yeah, there's And this happens Vietnamese hospitality. Sometimes I'm just asking what things are, and next thing I know, it gets prepared for me. Um, the lazy, just a lazy piece of crap. So just one more thing about like Vietnam, like not bit and top cam. A lot of people ask like, what's the difference? Yeah, come on, come on, you know. So again, a, a, a truly special experience here. We're getting everything. But what I wanted to say was, it's very dependent on the restaurant how they they sell either dog bit or top cam. So this place I actually had to look at it, right? So you can see they have a dog bit, but it's actually more than the top cam. So sometimes just pay attention to the restaurant. Okay, so got the vegetable here. Pretty typical of what you get, right? So you're going to get the ramun, but the, how it's been shredded like this. That's one of my favorite things to eat. And bunryo, and then just a gorgeous bowl. Isn't this actually like the wrap skin kind of cool to look at? I thought actually when I first saw it, I thought it was just like, like jicama or something like that. But once I did more research, I found it's actually the pork. Pay our respects to the Vietnamese broth. Let's give it a try. I don't know if you can see the difference in that oil layer that's got kind of like that orange hue to it. And then you've got little clear spaces where you can see into it as well. Yeah, you can't go wrong with that. One reason I love bún rêu so much, the small rice noodles, I kind of like how this falls apart. I love the texture from this. Kind of got the hot thing in Vietnam right now. You get that tap mờ satay. I mean, you see it a lot with bún bò huế or any type of bún bò. This may be the first time I've had it with bún riêu though. Let's go for a money bite right off the bat. Let's kick. Look at that. Almost like an extra little noodle. 
get a little bit of everything. Got that beautiful mum thong mixture which she got for me. Eat it on top and go for it. And here is the chet thong, another unique dish. Pork fat and prawn, how could it be bad? Still not overcooked. I like how she's just almost kind of blanching them real quick and then taking them out because then they're not going to sit in that broth and overcook. Some things can cook down. Like my tofu, my tofu can stay in that broth as long as it wants. But something like this, so light, so delicate, melt in your mouth. There's a sweet prawn flavor. Get out of here. To me, it's still got just like this little bit of tiny, teeny, tiny snap. But then as you kind of chew, then it melts in your mouth. It doesn't fall apart. It's not too just like mushy. To me, that texture is something yeah. so unique. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I came for this, the yaki okun. But I would stay for this. Wow. Vietnamese delicious diamonds. So hang up like. Okay, that was really funny. We just took pictures for a couple minutes. They're super friendly, unique product, clean, good quality ingredients. Definitely go back there and eat. It was a good find. Oh no, oh no. Onward. I love coming through these alleys though, especially when they're upkept like this, with all the beautiful plants. It's actually very peaceful. Oh, finally. I went down like the wrong alley four times. Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay, so we we're gonna come back today. I did not realize we we're gonna have a special guest. We got Kiki and her fiance Tim. So Kiki's Vietnamese, born in Jalan, and she actually lives in Hong Kong. They hit me up, they were like, hey, we're in Vietnam, can you meet? I was like, uh, yeah. Could always use some guests to help me go eat. So they're filming their little intro right now. But we also had bad today. So we got chui chin, quai lang chin, chào bà nha. Dạ đúng rồi, có quai lang chin ở đây. Bà có bán chui chin, bán tầm mây ở đình mây ạ? Chuyên đây nè. À, gần khai chuối trên đây là khoai lang. Này phải lang. Ờ, khoai lang. À, đúng rồi. <laughs> so we're gonna have to speak loud and really talk to Ba here. So Ba is 85 this year. Uh, she's somebody I wanted to meet before that. So I'm glad we got to get here and show y'all what she's selling. And look at this cute little sign she's got here. Uh, get the little, a little like bear and the sweet potato. Yeah, Ba ơi, cho con Ba khai chuối trên. Okay. Yeah, don't worry. Gotta try that. Gotta try to eat first. It's hot. We gotta go quite lang, man. It's hot, man. It's hot, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. The so banana's hot. like fresh. <laughs> cheers, brother. Yeah, cheers. Yeah. What you said, right? Vietnamese food better than American food. <laughs> She's super cute. So if you come here, she will talk to you and talk to you, talk to you, but. Mm. I love quai lang, a little bit sweet, crunchy, fried. Có 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 rồi, có rồi, con có rồi. Cảm ơn ba nha. Quai lang chín ngon lắm, ngon lắm. Ở qua bên Mỹ ăn cũng kêu là chú chiêu bên kêu bà ngon đặc biệt mà chú đi ông đi máy bay á, anh về bánh nó cùng dồn tan à, ngon lắm. Nhìn cho con tử chuối chiên mình, mình tử chuối chiên ở đây con rất là nóng, <cười> tươi. Ăn nóng hả? À? 
Dạ đúng rồi, xanh Đây nóng quá không sao, nóng không ngon. Ooh, try this before we burn our fingers off right here. So this is the fried banana. It looks gorgeous. Fried up perfectly. Oh. Oh, it's just how you want it. Đây nè, nước. Không nước đâu. À đây. That's exactly what you want. Anh ấy còn nói ngon quá. Tôi chỉ là đây ngon quá. That's exactly what you want. Crunchy, fried, delicious, nice, ooey gooey, and sour on the inside. Oh, definitely somebody you want to come support. I mean, she's been doing it over 30 years, so she knows exactly what she's doing. What in the world? Hey guys, how do you think this happened? There's a a pole, and it goes through this car right underneath. This guy's so unlucky. <laughs> Police station right here. <gasps> oh, I wish I would have videoed that. What's number one rule in eating Vietnamese food? Follow the smoke. So, we are going to eat some balalo. We're all the way down in District 7 here. And so, out here is their grilling station, but we have to go in this way a little bit when you want to eat. So, they got a cool little contraption here. They actually got two sides of grilling going on because they will get super busy. This is their grill station, but even inside, they're going to have more grilling going on there. Now, I'm kind of amazed. Even with the mask, they can handle this, y'all. My eyes are already tearing up, and well, I'm already smelling a lot better, but that's not saying much. Okay, bốn giờ mỗi giờ. Cho em hỏi ở đây có bán bao nhiêu năm rồi? Mấy chục năm. Mấy chục năm. Lâu quá. <cười> okay, let's check out the food. I'm crying. I'll start because I'm sad. I'm so happy I get to eat this. Dạ em cảm ơn chị. Over here is the Madness, by the way. And just to explain this place, Madness, you turn up there, it's still Madness, that street. And then right here, pure quiet. So look for the smoke, and then you can come down here. And so here's where you set up the restaurant. Yeah, I'm going to eat more fun. Yeah, I'm going to eat more Yeah. And so they know this whole space will get busy. This is where they do the prep though. So they'll grill everything, but they're getting the, the herbs, the vegetables, and actually gonna finish up the plate for you. You're gonna see it's more than just that bottle. little. They're actually gonna dish it up a certain way that I wanna show y'all. And this is what you want when in Vietnam. Got this huge plate of vegetable right here, but look at this. Some people aren't a fan of this, but I think you definitely gotta check it out. Look at that sauce. Look at the fried shallots. Look, they actually got peanut in there well. You can tell how juicy that ba la lo is. Now, like I'm talking about, some people dig this because when you have a ba la lo, they want it juicy, right? But I actually know some people who kind of like it drier as well. So this is a whole preference thing. If you like juicy, sauce packed with lots of henfi and the peanut and lots of toppings this is your place and look at this maybe the biggest wet tub i've ever seen they know you're gonna get messy oh and this right here is a reason enough to move to vietnam and this right here is just one of the most perfect dishes you can get in viet Nam, that ba la lo, that leaf, that special leaf we use to wrap it. Almost a little bit of pepperiness from it. And their little mixture, kind of got like a warming spice. I don't think it's a cinnamon, but it's something that works in that same way with that nice, fatty, juicy beef. And you roll it up at all the vegetables and dip it in one of the best sauces in the world, mum nam. It does not get much better than this. And this, you gotta combat all that sauce, as juice said, like to have just a mountain of herbs and vegetable. 
and it gets better and better the more you dig in here. I couldn't even see, but they actually have the fried scallions in oil as well. Oh. And to me, one of the better ways to have them. I don't know if you can see it. I know they got, they got a lot of pineapple in there, but to me that pineapple, chili, gonna have some garlic as well. Wow, pungent, funky, and sweet. Kind of like your boy here. Yeah, I think that defines me pretty well too. I'm doing the math. I'm doing math. I think a plate's of 50. But I've never had a that was 4,000. So there you go. Yeah, come on. Um, I got here super early. The owners weren't even out yet, too. So that's something I did want to say because y'all know me. I try not to. We call it like lumpin. Like, I don't want to bother anybody. I just want to show y'all delicious food. Here's the madness I talked about.